of the universe is that there was an event that took place we call it the Big Bang. Prior to about a hundredth of a second after this event took place, uh, we really can't go back that far. Physicists say the universe came out of nothing in a single burst of light that created an environment receptive to carbon-based life. The Bible says that too in the book of Genesis. Some evolutionists say the light which suddenly formed everything in the universe was an explosion called the Big Bang. They say that explosion created all the order we see today. The Bible agrees that the universe came into being suddenly, not by an explosion, but by an act of God. Evolution can't say what or who created the universe. Did the Big Bang trigger the formation of galaxies, stars, planets, and ultimately, life? Is there any order coming out of a big explosion? I would say not in any way. Explosions cause chaos and random distribution of various parts that were there perhaps as a united organization beforehand. Any explosion renders that completely null and void. There is no evidence in my mind that an explosion or even the Big Bang Theory can ultimately produce organized beings like ourselves or any other animal. Think about it. Have you ever heard of an explosion that has produced order? Do you understand what I'm asking you? The question is, can a bomb from a terrorist form a Rolex watch from the various materials available in the area when it explodes? Of course not. To prove the Big Bang Theory is possible, here's what you need to do. First, empty your garage of every piece of metal, wood, leather, paint, rubber, and plastic. Sweep it clean. There can't be a single element present that would normally be used in making a car. Nothing. Now, wait for 10 years and see if a Mercedes-Benz spontaneously forms in your garage. That doesn't work. Wait for 20 years. That doesn't work. Maybe 100. Maybe it's 10,000 or 250 million. Because that's what it takes to have the same blind faith that you would need to believe that evolution and the Big Bang Theory formed life from absolutely nothing. What do you have to believe in order to believe in Darwin's theory of evolution? Well, before any of the other contradictions we've already discussed about the process itself, you have to believe that the beginning of the universe happened all by itself. the sun, planets, and moons evolved from the same material, they should have many similarities. Yet each planet is unique. Since about 98% of the sun is hydrogen or helium, Earth, Mars, Venus, and Mercury should have similar compositions. Instead, much less than 1% of these planets is hydrogen or helium.
solar system evolved. All planets should spin in the same direction. But Pluto and Venus rotate backwards, while Uranus is tipped on its side and rotates like a wheel. a planet by many small collisions will produce an almost non-spinning planet, since the impacts will be largely self-canceling. Yet, all planets spin, some much more than others. All planets should spin in the same direction. Growing a large, distant, gaseous planet such as Jupiter or Saturn poses an insurmountable hurdle for evolutionists because gases dissipate rapidly in the vacuum of outer space. And even young stars, similar to our sun, do not have enough orbiting hydrogen or helium to form even one Jupiter. Scientists have no answer as to why four planets have rings. on the moon's origin are also completely inadequate. The moon's elements are too dissimilar to those of Earth's. And its orbital plane and circular orbit offer strong evidence that the moon was created in its present orbit. The more that scientists began to look at the amazing universe that they inhabited, they began to realize that there were certain factors that were simply very, very fine-tuned for the existence of man, of molecules, of organic life. And the more they looked, the more they realized that we are in effect on really quite a knife edge. And there are many, many indications that this universe has been very specially designed and man is at the very center of it. The truth is, the world didn't begin with a mindless, meaningless explosion called the Big Bang. The world began when God created it.